And there are certain things in the English language that, uh, have you ever noticed that there are contradictions in terms within English? If we are being aggressive or belligerent uh, or threatening, have you noticed that we use words would imply friendship. Have you noticed that? Pal. Listen to me, pal. <laughs> Scots are always doing that, don't they? Listen to me, now, pal. You're you need a pal. You're asking for a pal. <laughs> the Londoner, they they chum, isn't it? A uh, chum. Ooh, a chum. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mexicans is always amigo. I amigo. <laughs> I cut your testicles off, and you go. <laughs> but I do it with a smile. <laughs> Americans are always, hey, friend, buddy, boy. Okay, friend. The Australians, mate. Hey, mate. All right, mate. You want it, mate? You come out and get it, mate. <laughs> and then, then we, were, we were actually being friendly with people. We used the most. Extraordinary insulting, derogatory terms. Well, you, hey, what are you doing, you grey-haired old reprobate? <laughs> Hello, you old bastard! <laughs> they call your whole little legitimacy into question. You old bastard, how are you? You old puffter! <laughs> Where have you been, you old puffter? Well, bugger me! <laughs> you old bugger, you bugger me! You're as pissed as a fart. <laughs> what does a pissed fart look like? <laughs> How can a fart get pissed? <laughs> what is a pissed fart? It wobbles out of your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Falls over. <laughs> Excuse me laughing. I haven't heard that one. And then the Americans, the Americans, the Americans, I'm never sure what they say. I mean, the Americans will always use eight words where one will do. They're always, uh, they get lost in words. And then they always uh, question you. They, they say things like, uh, I, uh, I had a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I, I, I had a cup of coffee. You know, you know what I mean? It's difficult, but I'm beginning to work. <laughs> you, you had a cup of coffee. Mm. Shh. <laughs> the English also use expressions like, you don't say. Let's go to London. You don't say. <laughs> well, who did? <laughs> Americans don't say that anymore. They don't say you don't say. They say, no shit. <laughs> Shit in America is used for everything else but what it means. <laughs> they don't say anything else. No shit. I, uh, I drove, uh, I was in America, and I'm, I'm saying something. I said, uh, uh, I was in North Carolina, and I came through to New York. No shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> no shit. Yes. <laughs> in Virginia. President Bush now, his dog doesn't shit, it doo-doos. <laughs> the word doo-doo has taken over for the word shit. I'm going through Central Park with a friend of mine, a grown adult man, and he suddenly goes, oh, shit. And I go, what? He said, I've stood on some dog's doo-doo. <laughs> Ganji, call it what you like. They don't say it. shit. That's what it is. In America, they call it shit. They don't say marijuana, grass, and shit. I'm sitting in a bar in New York. A fellow comes over. Oh, hey, man. Hey, you, mate. What? Hey. You want to buy some shit? <laughs> what? You want to buy some shit? Shit? Yeah. Columban. Colombian shit. <laughs> Colombian shit? 
Yeah, it's the best shit in the world. <laughs> you bring it all the way up from Colombia? Yeah. You, you have it on you? Yeah. How, how much do you have on you? It's about three pounds. You're walking around with three pounds of shit in your pocket? And people give you money for it? How much do you get? About fifty dollars an ounce. Shit. I'll be a millionaire in a week. I think it's probably time that I went out and found out where Salmon Rusty is living so I can move in with him. <laughs> time, time beats us. All the time. Thanks. Anyhow, thanks for being a nice audience. Thanks for listening. And uh, see you around. Good night.